Hi there folks, welcome to my site and welcome to my video tutorial on the clone tool. You know the clone tool is one of those funny tools that when people first try Photoshop or they try elements, man that's the one they use because it's so much fun. You can clone out eyes, you can clone in eyes, you can change noses, you can plug noses, you can do all kinds of silly things and people do that. It is. A, it looks like a simple tool to use, but to use it correctly, it's not that simple. You got to be careful. And and actually, I don't use it for big jobs now. I use other things, but I'm going to show you how to use it for little things like getting rid of pigeons. Okay. Um, first of all, I want to show you something else here. I'm bringing this in. This is part of your options bar at the top of your screen, and this is the layers palette, the dreaded layers palette. If you don't know what it does. Use all layers means that I can have a layer on top of my background and I can clone from my background to my layer and it'll go there. And you can move it around, you can change the opacity, you can eliminate it if you don't like what you're doing without messing up the background, okay? Aligned has to do with the source. The source is where you're taking your pixels from, the destination is where your pixels are going to. If you have it checked like this, then the source will follow you around. You can move all over the picture. If I start here, with a source, and I go up here, the source will stay exactly that far away from me up there. If I have that unchecked, the source will always return here, so I can return. I can go up here and work like a fiend, lift up my pen, or change my, or let go of the left mouse key, and it'll still clone that sidewalk up to here. Okay, enough babbling. Let me show you. Okay, I'm going to go here. I'm going to add a new layer onto my pigeon picture. There's my new layer. So. The first thing you do is you alt click or alt tap with the pen someplace and we get rid of a pigeon. So let's get rid of this guy here. So I've got it set for a line so it's going to follow me around. So there we go. I've got it also set brush dynamics on my tablet is set to opacity. So the harder I press the darker it'll get. Okay, see that pigeon's gone away quite nicely. Now if I change this and I make it, if I uncheck that so it's not checked to the line, which is very confusing. And make this my source. Every time I lift my pen, the source will come back here. So just watch. Now I'm getting rid of these leaves. I'm doing a bit of municipal cleanup, which was necessary. Even when I go around to the other side, it still stays in that same place. No, I don't want to do anything really, really silly. So uh, well, I'll not put any carpet or any, any sidewalk up in the. Uh, up in the sky or anything. Okay, so that that's how, what the aligned means. Okay, so we can do other things as well. You can go from layer to layer, you can go from uh, picture to picture. And here's the one we're going to use. Now I'm going to add on a source point right here. Now I'm going to move this guy out of the way, but just so I can see the can and see what I'm working on. Come over here I'm going to add a third layer on because I keep forgetting to do this and having to start this whole thing all over again. Okay, so I've got a third layer now. This is my source. I'm going to put this cannon over here. And I'm going to press harder and it's going to make it a darker cannon. And there we go. Our cannon is coming along quite nicely. There we go. A cannon. Okay. Now I can take the move tool and I can move this around wherever I want it to be. So I'll move it here. Uh, I don't know. Let's make it a bit smaller. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to turn off the other two layers. And there's my cannon. Select all. And invert. Yeah. Uh, let's get this. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to invert it. Now the cannon is selected. I am going to transform it. I'm going to scale it make it a bit smaller because a pigeon cannon isn't going to be huge right okay so there's my cannon now let's turn on our let's accept that deselect everything turn our layers back on okay so here's our cannon it's a small pigeon can okay so we're gonna put it here we'll pretend that this pigeon is guarding the whole world okay so I'm gonna zoom in close get my layers down here and I'm gonna add a layer mask on here so now I can paint on this layer mask with black and it'll take away the stuff I don't want. Let's make our brush a bit smaller. Okay. One thing I really have trouble with is painting in a horizontal direction. I have no idea why I do that. 
Oh, uh, well, you know, it's kind of like that movie Zoolander. Remember the movie Zoolander? He couldn't turn left? Well, I can't paint horizontal. Which is a terrible thing. Okay, that's pretty much... In the interest of time, I'm not going to worry too much about it. Oops. But I'm going to worry about that right here. We've got to get that out. And we've got to get that out. Okay, there we go. Our, our cannon is set. So let's go back up to 100%. Okay, there we go. Now we can move this cannon around wherever we want it. So this pigeon apparently is threatening this pigeon. I don't know why, but he is. So that is how you go from one picture to another. And you can see I've got three layers. If I turn it off, the, the, the cannon's gone. If I turn this one off, that pigeon and all that junk on the floor comes back. So there you go. That's kind of what you can do with this. Now let's go to the other picture, that Canon picture. I want to show you an alternate way of doing things. Um, is this in here right? It looks like it's pretty good. Okay. Now this picture. This picture is a picture of a Canon that's guarding our shores and keeping us safe. And you know it looks really incongruous to have this thing sitting there. To have a picnic bench sitting beside this Canon that's protecting our liberty and our freedom. So I want to get rid of it. I first time I messed around with the clone tool trying this, it, it was an utter disaster. It didn't work very well. So this is what I decided to do. I decided to make a selection right here. Jump that to a new layer by hitting Control or Command J. Take my move tool and move this over top of that. So now what I have to fix is this, which is an awful lot easier. So I'm going to zoom in, and you can see there's a little line there, but we can fix that as well. So now I'm going to take my clone tool, make it a titch smaller, set my source, and just kind of paint away that edge of the picnic table, which does not strike fear into the heart of invaders. Okay, let's move across. Let's see if I can't see the uh, the other edge. There we go. That's how fast it is. So if you've got a big glob like that to get rid of, try something like making a patch. That's what I call it, patch. I don't know if it's a technique or anything. Um, but it works, and, and certainly it will strike fear into the heart of the evildoers when they see this cannon without a picnic table rather than a cannon with a picnic table. So if I take off the layer, there it is. I can even change the opacity, and you can see the picnic table sneaking through as I change it. So that's an alternative way of getting rid of some items. So you don't have to uh, clone a huge area. You just clone a little tiny area, and uh, you use a patch, especially with something like water, because water has its rhythms going on there, and if you break the rhythms, it looks stupid, and you can see it. So you want to get it right the first time. Okay, so there you go. That's some fun with the patch tool. With the patch tool. Some fun with the uh, clone tool and doing patches. So I hope you found this interesting. I hope you found what you wanted to find in the clone tool information. And I do appreciate the time you spent here. And uh, we'll see you on the next tutorial. Bye now.